Hello. Hi, good evening. Yes, I can. That's right. I had my uh, demo earlier, but unfortunately I uh, failed because I got confused <laughs> with the lesson flow since this is my first time. Uh, yeah, I'm ready actually. Okay. Uh, should I start now? Okay. Hello, good evening. Can you see me? Okay, can you hear me well? Okay, welcome to Native Camp. My name is Teacher Mark. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Air Home. Okay, thank you. So today, Air Home, we are going to study uh, daily news in this lesson. And uh, the title is Drinking Tea and Coffee Can Lower the Risk of Dementia and Stroke. Now, we're going to learn some of the words that are used in the article. Okay? Alright. Okay, uh, let's have the first word. I'll play the audio for you as a UK pronunciation once. Please listen to the audio well. Let's start. Please repeat. Okay, good. Now for the UK. One more. Alright, now let me read the definition. Dementia, it is a mental illness that causes someone to be unable to think clearly or to understand what is real and what is not real. Now let me, uh, let's read the, uh, the sample sentence. Repeat after me once, okay? This patient suffers from dementia. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's make a sentence using the word dementia. Can you give me a sample sentence, please? Okay, cognitive and in... Did you say inabilities? Yes. Alright, thank you. Let me type your sentence. So let me check your sentence again. You say dementia is a disease that... Uh, did you say effects or affects? Defense. Okay, memory and cognitive and inabilities. Alright, that is a good question. However, it is better if you say it this way. Okay, let me type it in the chat box. Dementia is a disease... Uh, instead of effects, you can use the word affects, okay? That affects uh, the memory uh, and cognitive abilities. Abilities. All right. Please read the uh, correct sentence. All right. Thank you so much. Now let's go to the next word. Okay. Let me play the audio for you. S. Please repeat. Okay. And for UK. Okay, thank you so much. Let me read the definition. Cure is something such as a drug or medical treatment that stop a disease and make someone healthy again. Let me read the sentence and repeat after me once. There is no cure for the common cold. Okay, very good. Can you give me a sentence using the, the word cure? An infection way back two years ago. Alright, let me check your sentence. Again, you say, my older brother is cured from COVID-19 infection way back two years ago. This is a good sentence, however, you sh it's better if you say it this way. I know this uh, in your sentence, you use the, the uh, B verb S, which is in present tense. Since you, you are talking about the past, you're going to use the past tense of S. So it's better if you say, my older brother was cured uh, from COVID-19 infection. Uh, you can remove uh, way back. You can directly say two years ago. Okay, simple sentence makes perfect. Alright, let me send this in the chat box. There you go. Kindly read the correct sentence. Okay, much better. Alright, let's go to the next word. Let me re re uh, play the US audio. Okay, please uh, repeat. Alright, and for the UK. Okay, one more. Okay, thank you. So it means, in addition to what has been said, used to introduce a statement that supports or adds to a previous statement. Let me read the sample sentence and repeat after me once. The house is beautiful. Furthermore, it's in a great location. Okay, discussion. Let me go back here. Discussion. Okay, there you go. All right, so now we're going to answer uh, each question freely by using the uh, situation given. I'll uh, read each question, then you can answer freely or uh, we can provide you the answer key, so to have more idea to your answer. Okay, let's start with number one. Do you think it is important for scientists to conduct dementia-related research? Yes, I think it's very important because they have been in the deep They help people to live longer life. Okay, so again, your answer, you say, yes, I think it is very important here because 
they help people to live longer life. Okay, that is a nice answer, but uh, to make it simpler and more grammatical, grammatically correct, you can say it this way. Um, yes, um, I think it is very important because it helps people uh, live longer. Okay, so you can remove uh, here and uh, uh, to live, okay? Okay, can you, I'll read the, uh, the question again and please answer with the correct sentence. Do you think it is important for scientists to conduct dementia-related research? Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Okay, I'll just put here, yeah, I guess, a curtain behind me, plane. Yes. Okay, bye. -bye.